Today we're going to be looking at how to convert ounces into pounds. To show this, we have a couple of examples that we're going to work through together here, so let's get started. As we can see, for question number one, we're being asked to convert 80 ounces into pounds. Up top here, we can see our conversion, and 16 ounces is equal to one pound. So when we're converting ounces into pounds, we're going to divide the value of our ounces by 16 in order to convert those ounces into pounds. Returning back to question number one, we have 80 ounces and we're looking to convert those ounces into pounds. So we're going to divide those 80 ounces by 16 to convert those ounces into pounds. Working through the division steps from left to right, well, we can't make a group of 16 out of 8, so we're going to move from left to right, and now we're going to think, how many equal groups of 16 can we make out of 80? Well, we know that we can make five equal groups of 16 out of 80, so we're going to write our five up top, and then we're going to multiply five times 16. Well, that's going to give us 80, so we're going to write our 80 down below, and then we're going to subtract 80 from 80. Well, that's obviously going to leave us with zero, so since we don't have any more numbers to bring down, we're done with this division problem. So our answer, or our quotient, is five or five pounds so when we convert 80 ounces into pounds we get five pounds moving on to question number two where this time we're being asked to convert 12 ounces into pounds the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up this division problem so we have our 12 ounces and we're going to be dividing those 12 ounces by 16. now obviously here 16 is larger than 12 so we're not going to be able to make a group of 16 out of 12. So in order for us to divide 12 by 16, we're going to have to go into our decimal places here. So in our dividend, or a number that's being divided, there is a decimal place to the right of the whole number. It's just not written because we typically don't write a decimal place to the right of a whole number. But since we are going into the decimal places here for this division problem, we need to make sure that the first thing that we do is we put a decimal place in the exact same location up top in our answer because that decimal place is not going to change its location in our answer. So now we can add some zeros so that we have some numbers to bring down. And now since we know that we can't make a group of 16 out of 12, we're going to move from left to right and we're going to think, how many equal groups of 16 can we make out of 120? Well, we know that we can make seven equal groups of 16 out of 120, so we're going to multiply seven times 16. Well, we know that that's going to give us 112, so we're going to write our 112 down below, and then we're going to subtract 112 from 120. Well, that's going to leave us with 8, and now since we have a remainder here, which we can't have, we're not done, so we're going to bring down our digit that's immediately to the right of the place that we've just divided, and that's going to give us 80. Now we're going to repeat the division steps, except this time we're thinking, how many equal groups of 16 can we make out of 80? Well, we already know from our first problem that we can make 5 equal groups of 16 out of 80, so we're going to write our 5 up top, and then when we multiply 5 times 16, we get 80, so we're going to rate our 80, and then we're going to subtract 80 from 80, which is going to leave us with 0. And now since we don't have any remainder, we don't need to bring down any more zeros, so we're done with this division problem. So we have 75 hundredths of a pound. So when we convert 12 ounces into pounds, we get 75 hundredths of a pound. So hopefully by now you understand how to convert ounces into pounds. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.